What is going on everybody? Super Yankee for Life here once again. Welcome you guys to my NFL picks for week number nine. Gonna get right into it. Starting with the Thursday night game between Minnesota not Minnesota, what the hell? Uh, Cincinnati at Miami. Uh, I believe it's on ha Halloween, so that should be fun. Um, I'll go with Cincinnati and win this game. Coming off a very impressive 49-9 win over the Jets at home last week. Miami is coming off a uh, I think they were coming up from five, maybe? I, I don't know. I, I really don't care for Miami at this point, ever since they've just fallen off the face of the earth. Um, I'll go with Cincinnati to win this one on the road. Uh, Kansas City is com uh, uh, coming off a close call against Cleveland last week. They are on the road against Buffalo. I'll go with uh, Kansas City to win regardless. Um, uh, defensively, they are very good. Um, definitely a top five unit. Offensively, though, they'll have to be able to put up enough points for that defense to do its job, and I, I think they'll do that. I think they'll, they are real contenders in the AFC to, to, to possibly reach the Super Bowl. Uh, Minnesota had Dallas, and um, as, regarding everything that happened last week with Des Bryant and everything, I, at first I thought he was just him acting like uh, a prima donna. Um, the audio that uh, the audio footage that was you know has been shown over the course of the week has uh, has shown otherwise now. But um, regarding the last two minutes of that game last week, there was nothing that Dallas could have done differently um, against Detroit to be, because the, throughout the entire game, even though they were winning, they were getting dominated up front by the Lions. The front four by Sue and Fairley and uh, the linebacking core for Detroit. And on, on the other side of the, uh, of the spectrum, on the, on the offensive side, they could, the offensive line could not generate a push to save their lives. And you know, it really made bring the ball almost non-existent. I don't care if you had DeMarco Murray or Philip Tanner or Dunbar. It didn't matter who was in the backfield. The offensive line was not getting a push up front. And, and if they threw the ball in that situation, the clock would have stopped if, they, if the ball was incomplete. So Jason Garrett kind of had his hands tied with the play calling in the last two minutes, even though they were winning by, what, three points at the time? So, I mean, all, all the blame last week should be put on the defense because even though they forced four turnovers, um, they gave up. Half those turnovers came via some big plays from the opposite end. I mean, if Callan Johnson... And Reggie Bush don't fumble. God knows where those two drives would have went. I mean, possibly for touchdowns. So uh, the, uh, all the blame was going to go should go on the defense for that loss. And uh, thankfully for them, they are playing a Minnesota team that is just a mess, an absolute mess. There's no other way to describe it. Um, I guess Freeman is the quarterback this week. I, I don't know. Castle, Ponder, it doesn't really matter at this point. If, if they stop Adrian Peterson, it's a, it's a wrap. Um, I think Peterson, although, will, will get his yards. I think that I think Dallas will, will be on the field offensively a little too long for Minnesota to uh, stop him on defense. So I'll go with Dallas to rebound um, with a nice win at home. Okay, Tennessee at St. Uh, St. Louis. St. Louis is coming off a really heartbreaking loss to Seattle on Monday night. Uh, and Tennessee is coming off a... Shoot, uh, a bye? Maybe they had a bye week as well? I I'm not really sure because Tennessee is just one of those teams that I really don't pay attention to. Although I really should because they, they have a bright future there if, uh, you know, once, you know, Jake Locker gets back. Um... I'll go with Tennessee to win this game. Uh, I'm really, it's one of those toss-up toss type of games that I, I, I see either team winning. Uh, I'll go with Tennessee, win that shock me if St. Louis wins. Okay, New Orleans at the Jets. Um, I'll go with New Orleans. I think offensively they're going to have their way with the Jets, although the Jets defensively got really tore off last week, giving up 49 points. Um, uh, I, I, the, the Jets' defense is still very good. I, I think it's I think it's a little young, but I think it's still a very a very good defense that will get better as they get more experience um, against these type of offenses like you know the uh, Andy Dalton and Bengals with and Drew Brees for the Saints. Uh, San Diego at Washington. I'll go with San Diego. 
Uh, I, I think they're one, of, they're one of those teams that can contend for a wild card spot along with teams like Oakland, teams like the Jets, even though they got <laughs> throttled last week. Um, teams like, uh, teams like, uh, I was about to say Indianapolis, but they're leading their, leading their division, but, uh, teams like, I guess you can say, I guess you can put Miami in that mix, uh, as well, but uh, they'll have to rebound themselves, but, uh, San Diego's really, been really impressed me, especially Philip Rivers, especially Philip Rivers, um, this year, not, not turning the ball over as much, so, that's, that's, always, that's always a good sign. And uh, as for the Redskins, they're, they're coming off a very impressive performance at home against, um... No, no, wait, no, that was two weeks ago. God, Jesus. Uh, who, who, did the, who did the Redskins play last week? Was it the Bears? Oh, I, I can't remember. I, my memory is completely shot. But anyway, regardless, I'm going to San Diego, damn it. I'm going to San Diego to win this game. Uh, Solely because I think Phil Burrows will have a big game. Yeah. Uh, Falcons at the Panthers. I'll go with the Panthers to win. Uh, I, I, I don't know what happened to the Falcons. I mean, I know injuries has had something to do with it. You know, Julio Jones being out for the rest of the year. Steven Jackson's hurt. Uh, Roddy White's not been the same. Um, but, I mean, it's, Matt Ryan's going to be able to find some, find some way to, to make it work. I mean... And plus, defensively, Drew is getting absolutely destroyed. I mean, Car I mean, it, Carson Palmer, Larry, Larry Fitzgerald had their way with them last week. And defensively, um, yeah, there's just not. I mean, it, I mean, this is this was the team by many people picked to be in the Super Bowl this year. And besides, you know, San Francisco, Seattle, you know, those those teams. But Atlanta was was, was ready to take the next step and make it to the Super Bowl after reaching the conference title game last year. But uh, it's been a disappointing year, to say the least. Um, I'll go with the Panthers, who are really, who are really starting to fly underneath the radar a little bit. Possibly a wild card team in the NFC uh, with Cam Newton. I think, I think it's all starting to come together. Now I know, I know they played Tampa Bay, and they throttled them last Thursday night. But I mean, it's, I mean, you can see there's there's something coming together in Carolina with. Uh, with Cam Newton and Steve Smith and, the, and, and company. Especially that, that front seven of the Carolinas is really, really good. Uh, Philadelphia at Oakland. Philly's coming off a loss to the Giants. A very, just a very ugly game all around on both both sides, for both teams. And Oakland is coming off a win over, over uh, Pittsburgh at home. And uh, you, can, you can tell, I, I've been saying this for weeks, you can tell that they have something there with Terrell Pryor at quarterback. Um, for the Oakland Raiders, and I give it, I would give it a year or two before the Oakland Raiders really start becoming contenders in the AFC. Um, I think, I think they have something, something there with Terrell Pryor, and that 97-yard touchdown run they had, he had last week, I think, proves it. Um, I'll go with Oakland to win this game. I really, I, I really like Oakland. Um, quarterback, con uh, I, I wouldn't call it a controversy, but. Uh, Quarterback mess in uh, Philly with Vic being hurt and Matt Barkley and Nick Foles being hurt or not not effective. Uh, just a mess in Philly. And speaking of mess, uh, Tampa Bay. I mean, they might as well fire their head coach or something because I, it, 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 you thought Jacksonville make a ten for an 0 16 year season. Tampa Bay might might you know want to up them one up themselves. Um, Tampa Bay hosting, not, at, on, on the road hosting Seattle, not hosting Seattle, but at, uh, Tampa Bay at Seattle, there, <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter if Seattle had both hands tied behind their backs and blindfolded, Seattle will win by, shit, three touchdowns, Baltimore at Cleveland, I'll go with Cleveland to win this game, Baltimore cannot protect Joe Flacco, for whatever reason, I don't know, but, I think Cleveland will score enough points to win. I, I, I expect more like a 17-14 game type of, type of deal. Pittsburgh at New England. I'll go with New England to win this game. Uh, Pittsburgh uh, had that little two-game winning streak, and, well, that, that kind of just disintegrated last week against Oakland. And they're playing Tom Brady and the Patriots, who are not very happy with their performances over the last uh, few weeks, ex exception of last week against Miami. 
where they just completely took off in the second half after being down 17 to three in the, in the first half. Indianapolis at Houston. Indianapolis. Um, shoot, I think they're coming off. They're coming off a. No, I think they're coming off a bye. No, I, I can't remember these things. I swear to God. Um, it doesn't matter because Houston is a mess. I believe they are starting Case Keenum again, maybe. Uh, Matt Schaub. It doesn't matter who is, who's starting at this point because Houston's a mess as well. So I'll go with Indianapolis to win. In the Monday Night Football game, the best rivalry in pro professional football, Chicago Bears at the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I like the, the Packers to win, especially with no Jay Cutler, uh, who's out, I think, for a month with that groin injury. Uh, Green Bay just seems to be just trucking along with, you know, no Jermichael Finley, no James Jones, no Randall Cobb. Jordy Nelson's getting most of the most of the catches away, and plus they have found a way to establish a running game with Eddie Lacy. It's always so good to see them actually running the football. And if they can get that type of running game with Aaron Rodgers throwing it, forget it. Just forget it. We're all talking about Seattle, San Francisco. Uh, you know, who else? Uh, maybe maybe they're, they're they're like the two best teams in the NFC right now. Forget those two. Watch out for Green Bay. If they can establish a running game like that on a week-to-week -week basis, forget it. Anyway, those are my picks. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Until next time, Super Game Keeper Live, signing off. Peace.